What's up, Crypto Nation? Back with another video. I want to talk about Steam. Steam it. So I just got to the point um, where I was like trying to go through all of the comments and stuff like that from uh, from Steam it, and there was there was a big delay because um, I was actually watching a movie with my wife. We were watching the Snowden movie again on. TV and really good movie, by the way. But I said before I go to bed, let me just check out uh, Steam it and try to reply to all the other uh, replies that I had gotten over the day and um, get caught up on that. Now, my big issue with Steam it so far is is that it seems like the notifications sometimes work, sometimes don't. What I mean by that is sometimes. Like, I didn't know that I had any notifications at all. Like, when I came home and, you know, did the, the daily stuff, you know, if you're a family man, get dinner cooked, you know, hang out with the kids, hang out with the wife and family and everything like that um, before doing anything uh, that has to do with the Internet, you know, getting on the computer or whatnot. I checked it before, and I didn't notice anything. And until I started posting my posts, my new post for tonight, um, these four videos here, one, two, three, and four, um, when I started posting them and then I started getting notifications that there were replies to those posts. So that's when I hit it and then I realized that there are about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Look, all the way down here. Look at that. Look at that. Probably to about here. Or here. From yesterday that I didn't see, and it didn't notify me that they were there. So that's one of the things that I'm hoping with the next fork that they can kind of implement on. And I would really love to see Steam implement scheduled posts. Uh, as a blogger, you know how important it is to have scheduled posts because there's a lot of uh, content that you may write that may not necessarily be time sensitive like urgent news or breaking news um, kind of things depending on what you write but there are a lot of things that help your workflow um, as a blogger to help you uh, schedule your posts and so for instance like if I stayed up for the next two or three hours and I'm writing posts on current events you know I want those posts to be scheduled for tomorrow because during the daytime hours I'm going to be at work um, I can schedule those posts at the, at the specified time that I would want them to be posted on the platform excuse me Right now, that's not available, so um, which is why it's kind of been a pain in the butt to uh, to come home in the evening time, like I said, and you know diversify your time between the family and and internet and do what you need to do. Um, it's been it's been a challenge, you know. What I mean to 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 get that done, and unfortunately, I had to kind of rush the post that I had scheduled already. Uh, for YouTube, and I had to kind of integrate them into into Steam it so everybody on this platform can know what's going on if they're not following me on YouTube. So I really hope that's something that they can um, fix in the near future, quickly as possible. But I got through, and I did reply to everybody's comments. Um, I, I I feel like this is the number one important thing when you're a poster, when you're a creator is to always respond to the comments, no matter how big, no matter how small, try to get to as many as possible. And I understand that you may be super big and the comments just flood in and you can't literally um, answer everything, but making that attempt to is important and I'm nowhere near big, so, <laughs> but, and because of that fact, I tried to make sure that I respond to everybody who uh take who took the time out to respond to my work. So I really, really appreciate that. 
And I hope that my response conveys that uh, intention. So got through all of y'all's, um, everybody's um, uh, comments, and I was able to reply. We even went back and forth a couple times in some of the comments, with some of the um, Steemit users. And this is, this is what I breathe for, man. I love this community, man. It's amazing. Uh, I want to check out the wallet. Boom! Chicka, 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 boom! Look at that. Rewards, I got 0.972. Um, I'm guessing that's themed dollars, maybe? And 53.365 steam power. I'm guessing SP means power. Let's go ahead and redeem those. Booyah! And as you can see, it, it did. No, SP was theme power. Boosted the steam power. Um, we got some steam dollars. Let's go here. Convert to steam. And 0 0.972. Convert. Okay. Boom, bada bing. Boom. And as you can see, everything is updated. Loving it. Theme platform is amazing. And for all the people that may glance and watch this video that are well ahead of me, just know that this is all earned Steam. I have not bought into Steam. I have not taken any other asset and converted it into buying Steam. Not saying that I am against that, but uh, for the moment, I am satisfied in just earning my Steam. Um, and I feel like that's important. Um, and I feel like it is a good thing for me. Um, not that I don't have the money to invest in Steam. It's just simply, it's gratifying to see the amount change um, on a regular basis going up. To see that what you're doing is empowering. What you're doing is, is uh, having a positive effect. What you're doing is earning you. Um, profit in a cryptocurrency that ultimately pays you if you so decide to um, cash out at any time. Now, I think Steam has a wonderful platform and they have built in a feature um, to the platform that allows you or that will make you think two, three, or four times uh, about converting your Steam and cashing it out. Your Steam power is. It helps you um, help others, and it shows how much dedication you have to the platform. And when other people can see that, which I love about Steam, it's completely transparent. People can see what you have, what you've earned, what your account's worth. They can see how dedicated you are to the platform, and powering up your Steam is an extra step to show the platform that, and, and, the, and the community of the platform, that you are definitely on board and so every bit of steam that i get it's powered up um because i want to be able to help myself and help others and so rightfully so thank you steam and if you guys aren't on steam if you guys are on the other platforms um that i usually post on vidme right here as you can see was one of the was the first platform that i got onto um besides youtube to really, really um, break away from the, the YouTube drama that was going on with the AdSense and whatnot. And they have a wonderful platform as well. Um, I think VidMe uh, would be the Steam It if they could implement what Steam does for the community of creators. Unfortunately, it doesn't, but they do have some good things about them as far as um, letting users donate to you um, and, and pay you directly for your content. And it's a really cool platform. I really enjoy it. And uh, I continue to post on there just because the, the community is so awesome. They, they communicate with you on a regular basis. And I love it, man. But Steam, Steam it has done a wonderful job and this is the platform that ultimately that I was looking for 
as a creator. And it can't be beat right now. It cannot be beat right now. I joined mid-May, literally mid-May, two weeks into May. And it is June 6th. And this is what this account is worth thus far. Solely because of my creation and, um, and blog post. Anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. Put your creative genius to the test. And uh, create because you love it. Don't create because you're dependent on AdSense to support you. That's the wrong answer. It's all about the community. And that's where YouTube has gone wrong with um, making their creators depend solely upon the corporate to pay them. Put it back in the hands of the, of the community and let them hold you up. And that's what I'm doing now. And I love Steemit. So if you guys are interested, make sure you join Steemit. There's no referral process. Simply join, uh, create your own account, and start posting. You know what I mean? And, and uh, you may not see the, the ad, or the, no, I would say the ad revenue. There's no ads. You may not see the revenue that other users get or that I may get right away, but uh, neither did I. So um, you have to start from rock bottom. And if you believe in your content, you will get to where you want to go in no time. And I can attest to that. So thank you to the Steemit community. I'm very, very proud of being a part of this community. And until Steemit has their own video making process uh, that's similar to YouTube and Vidme, where you can just post directly to Steemit, I won't ever use YouTube ever again. <laughs> and that's true. That's a, that's a true statement. So thank you very much. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.